Hey, I am Pastor Rob Lloyd of the South Edmiston Community Church, and it is day three. We are in Genesis chapters five and six as we do our daily reading, and we are going to be reading all the way through the Bible. We're going to be averaging somewhere around two chapters a day. Hopefully by the end of 2023, we will have this completed and it'll be right out there on YouTube for you. Um, if you have not yet, I would ask that you would subscribe, hit that bell notification so you'll know daily when we upload these videos. They are going to come out 7 a.m. every morning, seven days a week, Lord willing. And we're going to be bringing you the word, so let's get into it. Okay, so here we go, Genesis chapter 5, coming at you, English Standard Version. This is the book of the generations of Adam, when God created man, he made him in the likeness of God, male and female he created them, and he blessed them and named them man, when they were created. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. The days of Adam... After he fathered Seth were 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of, that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. When Seth had lived 105 years, he fathered Enosh. Seth lived, after he fathered Enosh, 807 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. When Enosh had lived 90 years, he'd fathered Kenan. Enosh lived after he fathered Kenan 815 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enosh were 905 years and he died. When Kenan had lived 70 years, he fathered Mahalel. Kenan lived after he fathered Mahalel. 840 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Kenan were 910 years, and he died. When Mahalel had lived 65 years, he fathered Jared. Mahalel lived after he fathered Jared 830 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Mahalel were 895 years, and he died. When Jared had lived 162 years, he fathered Enoch. Jared lived after he fathered Enoch 800 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. When Enoch had lived 65 years, he fathered Methuselah. Enoch walked with God after he fathered Methuselah 300 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Enoch were 365 years. Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he fathered Lamech. Methuselah lived after he fathered Lamech 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. When Lamech had lived 182 years, he fathered a son, and called his name Noah, saying, Out of the ground that the Lord had cursed, this one shall bring us relief, from our work and from the painful toil of our hands. Lamech lived after he fathered Noah 595 years, and had other sons and daughters. Thus, all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. After Noah was 500 years old, Noah fathered Shem, or Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Genesis chapter 6. When men began to multiply on the face of the land, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of man were attractive, and they took as their wives any they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not abide in man forever, for he is flesh. His days shall be 120 years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and at, also afterward, when the sons of God came in to the daughters of men, and they bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord regretted 
that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out man whom I have created from the face of the land, man and animals and creeping things and birds of the heaven, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless in his generation. Noah walked with God. And Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence through them. Behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make yourself an ark of gopher wood, make rooms in the ark, and cover it inside and out with pitch. This is how you are to make it. The length of the ark, 300 cubits. Its breadth, 50 cubits. And its height, 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and finish it to a cubit above and set the door of the ark in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For behold, I will bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, which is the breath of life under heaven. Everything that is on the earth shall die, but I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall come into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female, of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind. Two of every sort shall come into you and keep them alive. Also take with you every sort of food that is eaten, and store it up. It shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. That is today's Bible reading, Genesis chapters 5 and chapter 6. Until we get together tomorrow, may God richly bless each and every one of you. Yes, you, today. Have a great day.